Hey guys, it's Hamish and welcome back to Income Stream Surfers. I wanted to talk today about a couple of problems with search operators and how we can work around these problems. The first problem we have is that if you write the search operator even a little bit incorrectly, it doesn't work. So let's do... If you've seen in some of my previous videos, I recommended that you do this to see the... Uh, your products that are indexed, but if you put a capital S here instead of a lowercase s, it doesn't work, okay? So that's one problem, be really, really careful. Another problem is if you put spaces, it messes it up. So if I put a space here and a space here, it's probably not going to work. It doesn't work particularly well. You can see that this isn't what I'm looking for. This is just searching Google. Another problem we have is if I just put uh, siterebelville.com, you can see there are 38 million results, but let me just do something. Okay, so it stops on page 35, so it only shows us 344 results, okay? So I'm going to talk about something really, really cool in this video, and I'm going to talk about Bing. So Bing is really, really interesting. We can actually do the same thing. So if I do site Amazon.com, you can see here it says 57 million results. Let's just stick to Redbubble for this video. So site redbubble.com, there's an anytime here, so we can put past 24 hours, for example. And the cool thing about this is Bing works in exactly the same way as Google. They are both search engines. Google is obviously the main search engine in that, that people use. But the cool thing about Bing is that it works in the same way, and we can see many many results it does actually stop just like google stops okay so i want to talk about a final way to overcome both of these problems soon let's just get to where bing stops okay so we can see that bing goes further than google which is really really useful for us this is 572 this is 344 so we've already got more than double we've already got like 8,000 results if we add them together but the real way to see better results is to narrow down the search. Oops. So as usual, I want you to go on Google and find something unique about a Redbubble search result page, which is unique. So we can see that uh, shop is here. So we can put all in stream and then URL. Okay, I just had to Google this. So, and it should be all uh, in stream set. Let, okay, if you want to find this, just go on Google and type in Bing search operators. It's the first one that comes up, cosly.com. And then we can search for whatever we want here. In stream set, and then URL shop. Okay, you need to put another set of colon here for some reason. There we go, okay. Perfect. And then what we can do is we can put any time. We can put this on past month. Perfect. So put. Um, let's try and get rid of people maybe. Does this work? It seems to have worked. Let's just have a look. Yes, it does work. Perfect. Okay, guys. So I definitely want you to check out Bing search operators. I will leave this search operator in the description. This is for Redbubble, it works for Amazon, it works for everything. But again, Bing does eventually stop. And it's kind of annoying that they do this, but I think they do this on purpose to because anyone that's going past a certain page is probably just doing research like us. And they don't really care about people who are doing SEO research. They care more about, well, they only care about one thing, okay? And if you don't know, Google only cares about the user and Bing only cares about the user experience. They do not care about SEO. They don't care about anything else. But this is definitely working, and if you open any of these, you can see that they are um, Redbubble search result pages. It looks like the minus people actually works better on um, Bing than it does on Google, which is really, really interesting. It seems to only be showing me the results that I'm looking for, which is perfect. Um, you can narrow this down even further, or you can just uh, change the um, amount of time that you're looking at, basically. Another thing you can do is, as you can see here, this is help.redbubble.com. So you can go to here and you can put www.redbubble.com. 
Let's see if there's anything in the past 24 hours. I didn't think there would be. Past week. Why is this suddenly being shown when it wasn't before? Suddenly these are all just products. Kind of annoying. I'm kind of interested in this keyword here. I'm just going to open it, see how many results there are. 2.2 thousand. That's quite a lot of results, honestly. I'm going to have a look at a couple of these and see if they're good. I think I'm going to do some videos on the SEM rush method because I think it's really, really strong and I haven't made a video on it since, you know, like I haven't made a video in a long time on it basically because I don't really like paid tools particularly and it's a paid tool, but it has a trial which is free and that's definitely interesting and you it gives you everything it gives you full access to SEM rush and you can use it on any website just like you can use search operators on any, any website I've been using search operators as well to find um, Amazon KDP keywords on Bing it works really really well I'll have a video on that soon I think jigsaw puzzle is an interesting one I don't think it'll be particularly uh, competitive so jigsaw puzzle hmm Interesting. I I would check out um, Jigsaw Puzzle, guys. I don't think it's a particularly competitive niche. Maybe it is, though. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe many people have already had this idea. Okay, I'll see you really, really soon with some more content. Probably later today. It depends. I'm, I'm kind of busy at the moment, guys, but I'm trying to get stuff out. And being search operators was definitely something I should get out because this problem with Google not showing... Results past a certain point is very annoying for me, so I wanted to get this out so that you knew, and yeah, I hope this is helping people make sales, and peace out.